Augmented six chords comprise harmonies that share the same tendency tones and a strong inclination towards the five chord. In 18th century music, augmented six chords often precede dominant harmonies in climactic cadences. In later compositions, augmented six chords are utilized more freely, appearing before a dominant chord at various points within a piece. Unlike typical chords, augmented six chords are constructed not from thirds stacked above a root, but rather from intervals above the bass. The base of an augmented six chord is the minor form of scale degree six, acting as a tendency tone leading down to five. Augmented six chords encompass raised scale degree four, a tendency tone leading up to scale degree five. These two tendency tones separated by an augmented sixth resolve to scale degree five in opposing directions. The origin of the augmented six chord can be traced back to the Phrygian half cadence, wherein a minor four chord in first inversion resolves to a five chord. This involves the movement from an F minor chord in first inversion to a G chord, with the A flat in the bass resolving down to G. Composers would introduce passing chromatic tones like F sharp to lead smoothly to G. eventually merging these tones to form the augmented six chord, where A flat to F sharp creates an augmented six interval. This is a very concise overview of the historical evolution. This video is gonna focus on how composers utilize these chords with greater depth, focusing on their harmonic application. The three most common augmented six chords are termed the Italian augmented six, French augmented six, and German augmented six. Alongside raised scale degree four and minor scale degree six, these chords all incorporate scale degree one. The Italian augmented six chord comprises only these three notes. The French augmented six chord also includes scale degree two. While the German augmented six chord includes the minor form of scale degree three. For instance, to construct an Italian six chord in C major, one would flatten the six scale degree to A flat, adding scale degree one on top the flattened six and an augmented six from the bass, F sharp, these three notes make up the Italian six chord. We can see the A flat and the F sharp surround scale degree five. So using this as our template, in a French augmented six chord, we would add scale degree two to the three notes that make up the Italian six chord. A flat, C, D, and F sharp. Constructing a German augmented six chord entails starting with the template of the Italian six chord and adding a flattened scale degree three. So we would have A flat, C, E flat, and F sharp. This typically leads to the five chord through a cadential six four chord. So we can see A flat and F sharp resolve to G while the two inner voices stay on C and E flat, and eventually we would resolve to either a five or a five seven chord. Now, no one knows the true origins of the names of these chords, but in my education, I learned that the names German, Italian, and French reflects how composers from these nations orchestrated their music or orchestrated their preferred sound. For instance, the thinness of an Italian six chord with only three notes and a doubled scale degree one mirrors the focus on opera where the orchestra's lightness allows the singers to shine. Conversely, the richness of a German augmented six chord aligns with the grandeur often found in German orchestral music. As for the French augmented six chord, its affinity for the whole tone sound hints at the later use of the whole tone scale by composers like Debussy. While this explanation might not be exhaustive, it aids in distinguishing between these three chords. 
The first example we'll explore of an Italian augmented six chord is found in Beethoven's Symphony No. 5, a renowned piece in classical music. We'll examine how these augmented six chords precede the dominant harmonies of climactic cadences. As we follow the chord progression in this passage, rooted in C minor, we start with a tonic chord, then transition to a 5-6 chord before returning to the tonic. We observe another 5-6 chord, followed by the final three chords of the passage. The 1 chord, the Italian augmented 6 chord, and finally the 5 chord. This passage serves as a notable illustration of utilizing an Italian 6 chord to establish a half cadence. Notice how the A flat in the bass descends to G and the F sharp in the alto voice moves up to G. Now shifting our focus to the German augmented 6 chord, in the third movement of Beethoven's The Tempest, Beethoven modulates to B flat minor and employs a series of arpeggios to transition back to D minor through the A major chord. The progression includes a B-flat minor arpeggio, followed by a G-flat major with B-flat as the bass note, leading to an E fully diminished 7 chord. Beethoven then introduces a German augmented 6 chord, B-flat, D, F, and G-sharp, facilitating a smooth return to the A major chord. Beethoven's manipulation of expectations, transitioning from B-flat minor to what sounds to be a B-flat dominant 7 chord through the augmented 6 chord, demonstrates his mastery of harmonic deception, resolving not to E-flat major, but to the dominant chord of D minor instead. Because of the inherent problems of parallel fifths that arise when resolving the German augmented six chord to the five chord, often referred to as Mozartian fifths, composers frequently opt to resolve to the cadential six four chord instead. A prime illustration of this approach is evident in the opening phrase of the third movement of Beethoven's Pathetique Sonata. Here, the German augmented 6 chord transitions smoothly to the cadential 6-4 chord before moving to the dominant chord and finally resolving to the tonic. Beethoven frequently employs this technique as a preferred method when incorporating the German augmented 6 chord into his compositions. In Schubert's Moment Musical No. 6, in A-flat major, the composer challenges our harmonic perception by introducing an Italian augmented 6 chord. This chord, comprising F-flat, A-flat, C-flat, and D, appears after the initial repeat bar. He establishes E major as the new tonic before returning to A-flat major, effectively using the Italian augmented 6 chord to resolve back to the dominant chord, E flat major. A great example of a composer using the French augmented six chord can be found in Beethoven's Piano Sonata Number no. 8, The Pathétique, in the third movement. In this passage, Beethoven is in the key of E flat major. We start the phrase on a 5-7 chord, which then transitions to a 1 chord, then a 4 chord in first inversion. Next, the French augmented 6 chord, and then the 5 chord. This serves as an excellent demonstration of a composer employing the 4 chord in its first inversion to precede an augmented 6 chord. The smooth transition in both the bass and soprano lines, where C descends to C flat, and A-flat ascends to A, 
establishes these two notes as the tendency tones. Their movement in opposite directions sets up a resolution to B flat, contributing to the harmonic richness and expressive depth of the passage. The previous examples have showcased composers utilizing augmented six chords either to achieve climactic cadences or to deliberately obscure harmonic clarity. Now, let's explore a different approach, a composer using the augmented six chord as a passing tone with minimal emphasis due to its brevity. This example is found in Chopin's Mazurka in A minor, B 134. The phrase begins with the one chord in first inversion, where the bass briefly passes through G, leading swiftly to the German augmented six chord. This chord quickly transitions to a cadential 6-4 chord, followed by a 5-7 chord, eventually resolving to the tonic. In the final example, Beethoven demonstrates the use of multiple augmented 6 chords in his Bagatelle, Op. 34, No. 4. Here, Beethoven employs a sequence of a German augmented six chord, resolving to a French augmented six chord, then to an Italian augmented six chord, before ultimately leading to the five chord. Notably, as the inner voice descends from C to B to A, the classification of the augmented six chord changes with each progression, showcasing Beethoven's mastery in manipulating harmonic tensions and resolutions. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to check out some of our other videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to be up to date with our newest videos. Thank you.